Hey guys, Basil and Wool with Grayson Hobby. It's a bird. It's a plane. It's Cardi B. <laughs> All right, another new airplane from DW Hobby. Man, they're just cranking those suckers out this yeah. year. So this is a new one. Uh, it's based off the Eagle, which was a fantastic plane. All right, in this video, we're going to go to the field, and we're going to fly the DW Cardinal. And we're going to give it the six to Will and let him enjoy this awesome flying airplane. All right, here we go at the Maiden of the Bird. And it's very critical you get your V-tail working correctly. Okay, so... This is critical of flying an airplane. All right. Ready? So not that much throat you're saying? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Let me turn down the load. Just We're checking the CG. I don't know where you, Okay, hold on. I, mean, I marked it. I actually physically marked it. A little tall, heavy fly is good. All right, we got a hand launch this guy. Hold on. According to the wind sock, we got no wind out there. All right, well, where do I get one of these cardinals? GraysonHobby.com. I got it. There it is, officially. GraysonHobby.com. The link is in the description below. Every purchase helps from Grayson Hobby, either the Eagle, the replacement parts, the battery, oh, definitely the Raider Master. Where'd it go? Oh, shit. <laughs> it's a bird! It's tail heavy, or it's no. not a lot of power. Oh, yeah. It's not meant to go very fast. No, okay. Now, what do you fly to that? What percentage? <laughs> like 10% threat? Right. Yeah. Uh, I forgot to say, this is the maiden flight. You think I can fly this well? No. Actually. <laughs> Man, rough crowd, rough crowd. Uh, it actually could go a little more nose heavy. It's kind of climbs a little because yeah, it lifted the wing. All right, actually, I want to land it and move the battery up just a hair. Okay. Throttle with that prop stall. All right. Should have landed in the grass. Okay. This kit comes with everything you need, but you have to put in a receiver and, and a battery. battery. Which receiver did you use? So, like the uh, the Shining, I used a 1300 milliamp three cell China Hobby Line. Um, and then the receiver I used in this one was, let me look because I actually don't, oh, R84. Yeah, uh, R84 receiver. Um, so that's another, it's just a basic four channel plane. Uh, it does use V-tail mixing for the uh, elevator and rudder mixed, and it has ailerons. That was maybe a little too light, I don't know. No, it's good. I think he, no, used, it will he just had too much power. Uh, yes. I Y-harness the ailerons together and then the, the V-tail set up on the tail. But actually after flying it, one, this thing was actually stupid fast for what it was. God, it was chase, it was very fast. I'm one of you! Don't leave me! Don't leave me! Being said, this thing under power, it's a high lift wing, it climbed. Literally, it almost looped under throttle. Um, so what I found is if you mix 5-10% to 10 down elevator, with the, in this case, now it might be different for yours, learn your mixes and all that and just progressively work it in. Um, but moving a mix with throttle, it flew straight as an arrow and with like 5%, 10% throttle, this thing was just crawling perfectly straight. Yeah. Uh, it does have down thrust in it from the factory, so it does have proper down thrust, um, but it is a high lift wing. I also tried putting incidents in the rear of the wing to kind of cut some of the lift down, helped a little bit, but honestly just a little bit of throttle mix would be perfect on this. Uh, it was extremely enjoyable to fly. It was. I was very fun. shocked. It was stupid fun. I mean, we had a lot of fun with this guy chasing the um, chasing yeah, each other. It did. What a folding prop in that guy. To fold into the fuselage. I don't. <laughs> rough crowd. Rough crowd. No questions. Did <laughs> aileron rolls and all that. It looped really tight. It had great vertical. Um, I didn't try hovering, which I actually should have. But uh, um, it was fun. There was a couple. Uh, Flocks of birds that I did chase with it. I think I chased him at one point. Yeah, a couple times. Uh, <laughs> um, but it was it was a lot of fun, guys. This thing was surprisingly enjoyable to fly. Um, so let's go with the size. So the size is perfect to put into a back seat or a trunk. And if you had to, if you had, I guess you're on a bicycle, you could take yeah, the, the wing wings is removable. The wings off, brands. but you have to take the wings off anyway to get to the battery. So I guess you can mod it and put like a a hack for something down here, but I don't know. I'm not into modding stuff like that. This thing flew forever. It flew good. So we flew for about 10 minutes and you put like half a pack. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it depends on your throttle management, but um, yeah, you don't need a lot of throttle to fly this thing. It it flies very well on low throttle. Yes. If you're good at coordinating your rudder and ailerons, this thing flies exceptionally well to where I'd almost say it's trainer-ish because of how easy it is to fly, but it's not because of you do have to coordinate your turns to turn at super low speed flat etc um but it's a great little plane to fly um i was very impressed with it dw hobby has definitely impressed me um with 
how well their planes fly for EPP jobs. Yep. I mean, normally they're just kind of throwing together cheap planes, but this thing flew really well. Yep. Um, is it a 3D plane? Absolutely not. It's a bird, but it does it fly very well. Yes, uh, it's definitely something take to the fun fly, stuff like that. Like all EPP planes, you require, this requires regular CA, not foam safe CA. I know it goes against everybody's beliefs, but regular CA for EPP foam and kicker. You could use like a uh, foam tack or some kind of a contact cement if you're building it to make it light. But when I built mine, because it has some hardware in it, I did some um, CA, I did a little mixture of both. Whoa, that was close. Um, but this, but when you repair it at the field, bring a bottle of CA, bring up some kicker, and you get, but you're not gonna need to repair it because it freaking flies so good. Yeah, uh, the hand launching on this guy is literally just hold it out, give it throttle and go. You don't you don't need to toss it really. I mean, it's right. just this. So Will's that, that. brother threw it like a dart the first time. What you do on most jets and stuff like that, um, it went straight up. Yeah, it literally went vertical. Okay. Where to go? Oh, <laughs> it's a cool, and I just flew it out from there. But uh, and the second time, he literally just had it, and he kind of almost let go, and just like a little, yeah. like a little shove, like a redirect, and it came out perfect. That was maybe a little too light. I don't know. No, it's good. I think he just, no, will... he just had too much power. Good job. So I asked Will to land it in the grass, and he did. He has about eight feet across. 10 feet? Flies really well. It needs, so, it has so much lift to the wing. As soon as you add power, you could probably put down trim in the motor to help a little bit uh, to where it gives a natural down under throttle. But honestly, if you get a digital radio, just add a little bit of mix for the elevator and you'd be fine. Because that way when you want it to climb, it'll climb. You can definitely hand launch it by yourself. Oh yeah, you I, could probably just hold this thing out. I do it all the time. So, upgrades. Other than the prop, everything is stock. You don't need to upgrade these servos. It's a slow flying airplane. So guys, this thing, if you're looking for something different, something you can fly around for a long time at the field, just putts around on a lazy day, this is it. Right, for those of you asking what field we're flying at, because it looks so good in the video, it is Hilltop Flyers in Loganville, Georgia. Shout out to Hilltop for letting us use your field. Uh, thanks to Don who built a couple of these airplanes. The link to the field will be below. They are always welcoming new members. They're a great group of guys. We sponsor a lot of fly-ins out there. Um, it's a, they just added a new extended to the runway. Yeah. So Hilltop Flyer is about a 10 minute, five, 10 minute drive from Grayson Hobby. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, if you're uh, looking to fly at a field that is not in the middle of nowhere, three hours away from civilization, yeah. um, Hilltop Flyers, Loganville, Georgia, check yeah. it out. Modelaircraft.org is, uh, has links there as well. Yep. It's an AMA sanctioned field, so you can fly gas airplanes, nitro airplanes, electric, electric airplanes, airplanes, drones, big ones, little ones, helicopters. Yes. Great group of guys. Go out and see them. Join if you're around here and or come visit one of our flying. Two thumbs up for me. Oh, I'm gonna give two thumbs up. I yes. liked it. Like I liked it. it. Great airplane. It's fun. It's stupid fun. I mean, you're not gonna take it out and show it off to your buddies, but you're gonna secretly fly it in your neighborhood because it's such an awesome airplane. <laughs> Uh, honestly, it takes off, it goes vertical. You could get away with this in the neighborhood, probably. Don't do it, though. Not AMA sanction. I'm just kidding. Do whatever you want. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. And next time. So, oh. yeah. All right, if you want to see Will set up his radio, put a comment below, radio setup with VTAIL. Um, we could maybe do a video on how to set it up, but it's pretty easy to do. Um, <coughs> if Will could do it, anyone can do it. <laughs> so, guys, special thanks to... Crash Panda FPV for he actually I was pretty busy this come Christmas time so he actually built it for us um, so check out his TikTok channel stuff like that but uh, he actually built the plane and set it up on the radio and what you didn't set it up no you said it was easy I was working oh I, my god cut I, cut. I, cut.